This is a representation of bad leadership. This is what happens when you hire SJWs and freaking weirdos to run your company. Any person with good leadership knew, would have known that this wasn't going to work. I would have been a manager there at G4 or a producer or whatever the case may be. And Frost comes to me and say, hey, I'm getting these comments. Uh, people are saying X, Y, Z about me, whatever the case may be. I really want to do this sexism and gaming rant. The first thing I would have told her is like, listen, I'm with you. I don't stand by those comments that are being that are in the uh, comment section or whatever the case may be we'll try our best to filter out those comments and block people who are putting those kind of comments in our chat but we can't control what happens on other people's channels and what we can't have you do is go on a rant calling our audience sexy maybe you're not calling everybody sexist but in this day and age everybody's going to take it that way i can't have you do that we're barely squeaking by as it is we can't afford you alienating our off our audience and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Atreus. I'm coming at you live from the ATL, bringing you more pop culture news centering around entertainment, movies, TV shows, video games, and everything in between. All right, today we got to talk about one more damn time. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Frost herself speaks on Twitter after G4 TV shut down, and we got to talk about it. What makes drop. you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call me up on. All right, team, y'all already know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button, the red subscribe button, and go down into the description below and follow me on all the socials, okay? Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, whatever the case may be. Uh, I'm working on Locals or, or Rumble or whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. Um, and let me know that you're a sub so I can follow you back, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the news. All right, so as you know, we learned over the weekend that um, G4 is shut down permanently, all right? And we all know why. There's multiple reasons why um, they were a little bit too ambitious. They had like over 40-something employees, this big office space that was unnecessary, and it just wasn't sustainable already. And then you add in the fact that Froskeren, or Frost for short, goes on this sexism and gaming rant where she accuses everyone in the uh, audience of being sexist, all right? Which just spiraled the company down into a wormhole. Now, she has some things that she wants to say on Twitter. And I'm surprised these tweets are still up. Yesterday, when I saw them, I screenshot them uh, because I was I anticipated her kind of taking these down. But they're still up, so I'm going to read them. So she goes, My sexism in gaming segment was approved by all executive showrunners in X-Play. When I was originally hired and cast, G4 made the internal statement that diversity and inclusion was what it was built on to fix the past. I was fully supported initially until doxing and threats. If you don't know what doxing means, it means people are revealing your personal information, such as your address, your phone number, and everything else uh, on the internet. She then goes on to say, then I asked for support multiple times and was ignored or directly lied to about support coming. No guidelines, no plans, no help. Then management changed and became openly hostile. All right. She continues. And now, this is the last thing I'll ever say about G4. People who I worked with there were lovely. People that I worked with were lovely. I gave them everything. Producer, writer, host, and more. Would do it again. Love you all. Okay. So there's a couple of things I want to acknowledge here. All right. Frost is a lot of things, but I don't believe she's a liar. Well, I don't know her, but I don't think she's lying about this. I believe her. I believe that they approved everything that... Uh, she wanted to do. I believe they approved that. Um, and I believe that they were all about diversity and inclusion. It's not it's not shocking. And so I want people to understand. I, I will defend Frost a little bit on this because this is a representation of bad leadership. This is what happens when you hire SJWs and freaking weirdos to run your company bad leadership they don't know any person 
any person with good leadership knew would have known that this wasn't going to work. So let's say, for instance, if I would have been a manager there at G4 or a producer or whatever the case may be, and Frost comes to me and say, hey, I'm getting these comments. Uh, people are saying X, Y, Z about me, whatever the case may be. I really want to do this sexism and gaming rant. The first thing I would have told her is like, listen, I'm with you. I don't stand by those comments that are being that are in the uh, comment section or whatever the case may be. What we'll do is we'll try our best to filter out those comments and block people who are putting those kind of comments in our chat. But we can't control what happens on other people's channels. And what we can't have you do is go on a rant calling our audience sexist. Sure, maybe you're not calling everybody sexist, but in this day and age, everybody's going to take it that way. I can't have you do that. We're barely squeaking by as it is. We can't afford you alienating our, off our audience. And I find another way to protect you from the scrutiny. Now, protecting you in the first place would have been not hiring your ass because, I mean, let's, let's be honest. Our audience is mostly men. They want attractive women they can look, uh, look at. I, I'm just keeping it a buck. All you got to do is go on Twitch and see all the e-thoughts on there making all the money in the world on there just twirling their freaking hair while pretending to play Resident Evil. That's what they want to see. But instead of, instead of y'all doing that, you decide to go and get these SJWs and these weirdos with the two dying front teeth going on rants about... Anyway, so... They didn't protect and then they didn't support her afterwards. So after she made said statement, I remember they put out a statement saying that they supported her and all of that stuff like that. But then what she says is, then I asked for support multiple times and was ignored or directly lied to about um, support uh, coming. Let me see, because I could have sworn she said somewhere in there that um, management changed. Oh, yeah. OK, so. She said, then I asked for support multiple times and was ignored or directly lied to about support coming. So what they started to realize was that, holy shit, the, the backlash on this is like huge. And this is what I think, I think uh, it, it's, it's uh, Ripper, Eric July, who said this, where he said these people in, corp, in, in, in the corporate, they literally have no idea what the, what the, the mass audience really thinks they have no idea what most people really think. So they listen to these, these um, people coming out of college who are being indoctrinated to think a certain way. And they're listening to those people tell them, Hey, this is where, this is where things are headed. And they literally have no idea how we actually think. So they're approving stuff like this. And when they realize, Holy shit, we're getting a lot of blowback on this. They stopped supporting her. Then somebody came in and said, listen, all of y'all are fired. <laughs> Replace the new management. And the new management was already angry because the show wasn't really profitable to begin with. And now you got this shit storm that you got to deal with because of Frost. So, yes, they did become uh, openly hostile towards her. I would have, too. I mean, imagine putting your blood, sweat, and tears into bringing back an old show that you were in love with. Because you could tell Mike Pereira and even Adam Sandler, um, Adam Sandler, Adam Sessler, crazy ass. This was a passion project for them. They really wanted to see, they really loved G4 TV. And as cringy and as terrible as X-Play and, and Attack of Show is, they looked like they were having fun. Imagine putting all the work in to, um, bring it back and to have it all flushed down the drain from one segment from this motherfucker frost i would be fucking angry i would be angry but there's blame to go around here it's not all frost's fault they should have never approved that shit to begin with and if she had a problem with it then step out the door which is funny if you come down here all right Someone goes, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry you went through this. At my prior employer, I was doxxed, harassed, and they had no support for me outside of the coworkers who knew 
care and checking up on me. It's really messed up, and I hope you are able to find somewhere somewhere in the future who supports you and more. And she goes, doesn't exist in this industry, but I'm leaving it, so it's all good. First of all, to this Roman D. Nova person, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I've been in corporate America. I've worked a lot of places. A lot of y'all don't be telling the whole story. Let's just keep it a buck. Y'all don't be telling the whole story. You don't be telling about the bullshit that you did. And, you know, that's why I'm. anytime you hear stories, like even, even some of the claims that come out about Activision, like my, my, uh, my, you know, the light bulb goes off and I'm, what is it? Not the light bulb. Is it? It's the red flag. Whatever. I'm, I'm on guard because a lot of people be lying and they don't be telling the whole story. So but anyway, Frost says she's leaving the industry and I'm assuming she's talking about the gaming industry. What the fuck was that? <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, it seems like she's leaving the gaming industry. She says it doesn't exist in this industry, meaning uh, a place where people support her more. Yeah, I mean, I would agree with that. I mean, I think the way the industry probably looks at Frost is radioactive right now, and they don't want anything to do with that. So what can you say? Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. And it, the beat goes on. Let's go, let's go. Hey, hey. Beat that thing down like you started a tension, my baby. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby. Slide to the crib like Dracula's mansion, my baby. When you pull up, it's on action, my baby.